when I'm talking about Sunday stew, this is what I mean. This is fish stew and we love it so much. I like preparing it on Sundays so that it is fresh on Sunday and we can have it for the rest of the week. It is so good and it is so easy to make. So if you want to learn how to make my fish stew, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, I'm using some tomatoes, fresh plum tomatoes. I'm using onions, two of them, and I'm using some pepper. So we're going to blend all of this up, and I like to blend my tomatoes all the time. I shared a video on my channel yesterday, and I was showing that while I was prepping these tomatoes, I found something absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> which reinforces the fact that I need to always open my tomatoes before blending. This is why I do it. So I found this in the tomato. I found worms previously. And for a lot of people, they are like, this is yummy. This will help you boost your immunity. And then when you eat out, do you know how they blend the tomatoes? You see, this is why I get scared of eating out. But anyways, this was what I found in one of the tomatoes. And I threw it away and I kept going so I'm just cutting the onion adding some water and then blending what I usually do is I add water to the first batch that I blend and then for the next continuous batch I just leave a bit of the tomato that has been blended so that I don't have to add water again I also like to add some ginger to my fish stew fresh ginger especially because it gives it a bit of heat and it gives a very very lovely flavor to this stew after blending I'm going to transfer it to a pot and then I will boil till it reduces this will help me reduce the like stew cooking time so I'm just going to boil the sauce till it reduces sometimes till it completely reduces but today not so much the fish that makes this stew special is hake so I'm using hake today and this is also known as banla fish <laughs> My son doesn't like fish, but this one he will eat one million times because he feels it is chicken and that's because of the texture of the fish. This is also one of my favorite fishes. It comes in different varieties, fresh frozen fish like this, or you can have it smoked. It is so good when smoked and put in your soups. Also, they have the dried version and it works well for soups also, but I prefer the smoked version and you know, the fried one, the fresh one like this. So this is what we're using for this recipe. It is so, so good. I'm seasoning the fish with some all-purpose seasoning. It has white pepper, black pepper, some salt, and some herbs. So I'm mixing everything together and I'm going to put a pan on the cooker Add some oil when it's hot add your fish the thing about frying fish for me I used to struggle with it <laughs> while I was growing up and I didn't have YouTube when I was growing up so I didn't know what I needed to do to make sure my fish was always fried properly but all you need to do is leave fish alone when your fish is frying leave it alone don't touch it to see whether it is cooked once it starts getting brown at the bottom you can see then you flip over that way you don't have scattered fish i also like to fry this fish a bit dry because it's going to be inside the stew and i don't want it to scatter the fish tastes really good when it is fried almost dry like this and then you put it in the stew and then it soaks up the stew oh it's so good you can choose to air fry the fish or you can put it in the oven to bake but i need the flavor in the oil it is going to build more fish flavor for the stew which is why i'm frying it Once I'm done frying the fish, I'm going to sift it so that all the crumbs of the fish do not go into the main pot of stew. So you can see my oil is looking very neat Something because that goes I've well with fish all those stew little is onions. I know onion is so expensive right now. Well, for me, it is really expensive, but you need lots of it to build the flavor. So I'm adding some curry powder 
and I'm adding some thyme, dried thyme and dried rosemary. This is the stage where your neighbors will come and knock on your door and ask you what is going on because the aroma that fills the air with that combination of spices and herbs, oh my goodness, so good. Now I'm adding the boiled down tomato mixture. I'm adding it and we're just going to let this cook for a bit. There are two ways I can make stew or fish stew basically. I can either have it dry or have more liquid in it and it depends on what we want to use it for. For this one we're going to use it for rice and other things but if I know I'm going to use it majorly for things like a wedu, okra, I want it a bit liquid like this. If it's going to be for just rice I'm going to make it a bit dry. That means I'm going to boil my tomatoes down before I start frying it. Once the oil floats to the top like this, I mix it together, I taste it to make sure that it doesn't slap <laughs> and then I put my fish. If, if you notice, I did not add salt, so I add my salt after I have added the fish and that's because the fish is already seasoned and I need the tomatoes to boil down to the level I want it to boil down to before I season it. Sometimes your tomato can be very liquidy and by the time you season it and, and cook it down, it will now become too salty and you know I already Already added salt in the fish so I need all the seasoning in the fish to enter the stew before I now do my final adjustment of adding more salt if I need extra or not now I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to cook a bit more this is the point where the stew is going to enter the fish and the fish will enter the stew can you see how this stew is bubbling in my head, I'm thinking, what am I going to dip into this stew? Do I want to dip some agege bread inside? <laughs> or do I want to use it for a wedu? Or what do I want to use it for, for rice? But this is Sunday and this is my Sunday stew, so it would go perfectly with all of the above, especially rice. At this point, my stew is ready. I'm just going to cover it halfway so that it can simmer down. Because of the type of cookware I'm using, even though I turn off the heat, it still bubbles a bit. So I'm just going to allow it to do that and then we will come and serve when it has relaxed. This is what my stew looks like. I hope you try this recipe. If you do, tag me on social media. I would love to see the results. It is so simple, so easy to make, and I really, really do hope you like it. Thank you for watching today's video. Hope you're having a great weekend. If this is a weekend when you're watching this, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.